Also, I keep reading this is like four with a P. But that's supposed to say up. It just, since it's smashed together, it looks like a four with a P. But whatever. Let's just kill stuff. That is the name of the game. Well, actually, it's Space Arcade, the game. And on Newgrounds, it's spelled in the game is in parentheses with an exclamation point. So I'm not sure if space. Yeah, I'm not sure if Space Arcade is like a reference to something that I'm completely missing. Or what? It's definitely referenced, you know, arcade shoot 'em up games. There's definitely some Galaga and a few. Oh, the way a few of the enemies work. But other than that, can't think of what it would really be a reference to. This is another one of those situations where I could just stop firing and, you know, I'd be fine. But that's not the kind of man I am. I'm the kind of man who holds down the Z button. Because it shoots bullets. I like those. Also death. That is a grape. You're, you are a cat. Cats don't eat grapes. The cat is eating a grape. Just thought you should know that. Thought you should know a little something about the kind of man I am. The kind of man that has a cat near him that tries to consume grapes. I think it says a lot about me, actually. I think it says a lot about I want to be in a house that does not have cats eating grapes. Or cats of any kind, because they kind of get hair everywhere. Kind of getting tired of that. But soon, my pretties. Soon. And your little dog, too. I don't want any damn dogs in my house either. Nothing to get hair everywhere. Also, I keep, yeah, I keep thinking the smart bomb button should erase all the bullets. And in my opinion, it really should. But it, it just doesn't. It just doesn't. Because, you know, it really doesn't do me that good in most situations to erase all the enemies. I want to get rid of the bullets. Because this game gets fairly bullet hell at certain times. I guess I could do the whole control when I shoot crap. But no, I don't I don't I don't I don't play that. Homie don't play that, okay? Homie does not play controlling when I fire. Also at this point there's really not much reason to not just spam the uh smart bomb. Unless you're trying to upgrade stuff. Oh god, it's still going. I thought we were done there. Speaking of sp Aw. You're kidding. I didn't even see that. Ugh. Sigh. Okay. Whatever. Levels are getting a bit... Not sure I could say too long, but... Relatively speaking, it's a very large discrepancy in length. That's... It's kind of what she said. Kind of. But yeah. Damn it, just... Uh, tired of being near enemies and I can't even move once they start to shoot at me. You know what? Yeah. That's what I think of your level design. It's really not... There's no incentive for me to fire. There's just not. Whatever. You know what? You know what? There's no incentive for me to fire, still. There is incentive for me to do that, though. That feels kind of good. Actually, wait. You know what? No! No. Yeah, how does that feel? Crap. Well, you showed me, game. Touche. Let's, let's leave that for another time. Watch this level be vastly easier, considering that's the way the difficulty curve is unfortunately gone in this game. It's been very wonky. There have been... Yeah, that's a random spikes in the difficulty that I do not really approve of. I also do not really approve of these guys. I generally don't approve of anything that forces me to stop shooting. Just not very. 
I don't mind that pattern of them. Just long strings of these guys, like that. Less fun to fight. But whatever, I have smart bombs. Losers. Ah, you guys. Boom. Alrighty. I kinda like this level. I don't mind this one at all. It's been a bit easy. But it's been a less annoying than some of the other, you know, stuff. I really hate when, you know, I'm stuck in a corner and there's crap firing me at me. And I can't really move out of the way. Which, that last level was kind of doing to me a lot. Also, I really hate the random breaks that get put into these levels, because it really feels like it should be over, and then it's not. You know, a nice, a brief breather would be okay. Also, really hating the way the smart bombs work, by the way. Um, a short breather would be okay, but when it... Sometimes it's just feeling like, why did... Did the level glitch? Isn't it supposed to be over? But no, it's just taking an unnecessary break. Whatever, 28. We'll skip that other level. We'll leave that second to last. I will put the last level last, but it only feels right. Looks like we've got a concentration of tougher enemies in this one. Kind of. Well, armored enemies, really. The They don't really seem all that tough with this weapon, because it kills... If it starts to hit you, it kills you pretty quick. And you can play these smart, and do stuff like that. Also, the yellow stuff rushing immediately towards me always makes you think it's bullets. It's not. This has been a, also a fairly tame level. You. It'd be nice if those guys flicked on and off all at the same timer. So either all of them were on or all of them were off. Because it's really hard to only shoot one. So if I start to shoot one because it de-shielded, I'm going to hit the other one that isn't de-shielded. So if they all had the same timer for that, that would be great. I guess it would remove some of the challenge, but it would make, in my opinion, it would make some more sense, and, you know, be a bit easier to understand when to attack. Damn it. Where did you come from? Whatever. Let's try level 29, just because I kind of like abusing the ability to just randomly jump around to the later level. <laughs> it's like, hey, I don't like this level. Oh, right, I don't have to play this level. I like this level, by the way. Lots of shots at me, but lots of stuff to... Lots, to, lots going on. It's just... Got a nice bullet hell feeling. Without the randomness. See, bullets and bullet hell games are never random. They're always carefully planned, and there's always something you can do to dodge them. And that's the fun thing. When it's just freaking blarg, I vomited bullets all over the screen. That's not as fun. You know, it may look like someone vomited bullets all over the screen with the uh, bullet hell games, but it's usually not the case. Hey, boys. Oops. Right. Right. Pain. Yeah, your whole sprite appears to be vulnerable to attack in this game. Unlike some shooters where, you know, you get pretty small hitboxes. Also, if levels are going to be this long, an indication of how much longer there is to the level would be sort of nice. Like, if you're going to do these intermissions, you could say, like, how much of the level is done, maybe. 
I just don't really like that with these levels I really have no feeling of how much longer the level is going to go on and that makes it feel like it's going on even longer especially with the long intermission things it just feels awkwardly long and unnecessarily long is that the end? No, it's not. Of course it's not. Because that would mean this level has an end. So this thing has some good defense. Congrats, Captain. Alright, let's complete these levels before we plow right into the ending. I'm not sure if this game actually has like an ending ending, but the last level anyway. This game doesn't seem to have any sort of story. Also, I can kind of see what they're doing with their control your fire stuff, so, you know, you don't shoot one that wouldn't be convenient for you, but I don't particularly approve of that, because usually there is something to fire at. It's not like there's one boss on the screen and, you know, you have to control your fire and um, stuff like that. It's like, when I'm trying to avoid shooting the those blue capsules that fire back, if I'm not firing at those, usually there's a bunch of other stuff that I should be firing at, so not shooting just feels a little painful. It just feels a little wrong. Also, these guys get all of my hate. All of it. Every little... What, what units does hate use? I don't know. These guys aren't very tricky. Though, the blue things, though, annoying. The little capsule things. End of the level, please? No, of course it's not. Once the black... Once the pause goes on for a little bit, you know it's not the end. Whoa, I didn't even notice those were shooting bullets. I guess they only fire once they're like 80% of the um, screen down. Well, this is difficult. Why is that wave? Well, I guess it's only because of this weapon, but that wave was amazingly easy. Because those enemies can't even, like, freaking spawn. Alright, end of the level. I'm calling it. Aw, oh, yeah. Alright, level 28. You can't upgrade Jack. Or Bob, or Larry, or any of those guys. I forget why I did not like this level. I'm about to find out, I'm sure. I don't even remember anything about this level. So it will coming, come rushing back to me in a surge of hatred or something, though. I don't think this one was that bad, really. Oh, behind you. Right. I died because something spawned to the back left there, so I'm just sit in the middle of the screen, which really would have... God damn it. I need to learn to stop firing at those stupid jerk face buttholes. I should be like, yep, just chillin'. Bomb you in the face, ow. Ow, stupid. Invincibility frames are pretty quick in this game. Or they're pretty brief. You. I think this level had lots of the shield guys, didn't it? Yeah, I see you showing your ugly blue faces. Yeah, see? If they toggle alternately like that, like one at a time, then sometimes there's never a safe time to shoot the group. That's really annoying. I would just really prefer them on a timer. Um, you can even make the time they're unshielded a lot briefer if you made the timer the same for all of them. And it wouldn't have to be the same for all all of them on the screen, but each when they're all in a group, it would be really nice for them to be all in the same timer. Just stop firing. I swear, like, half the time on these levels, on the harder ones, if I just stopped firing, I would do a lot better. This is obviously the case right now. Which is not exciting, by the way. I get what you're doing with the careful fire control. It just doesn't necessarily make for exciting gameplay. Especially when I don't need to fire. But it's sort of a double-edged sword because... 
If you introduce those enemies that I need to time carefully with other enemies I need, just need to slaughter, then that can get kind of frustrating. Alright, last level. I uh, can't upgrade anything, so whatever. Do we got a final boss? Do we got some really weak enemies? Yes, we do. So what's going on? I'm expecting... Actually, I'm not really expecting a boss, because that would be the first and only in the entire game. So... I really don't know what to expect. I guess I should expect fireworks, because that's what I'm getting. But, uh... It's got sort of procession. It's got a boss feel coming on right now. But no, just weak little enemies. Cry some more. So this is exciting. Just sort of a random barrage, honestly. Makes sort of a nice fireworks show, though, surprisingly enough. But the... Onslaught of enemies has been kind of random. It's nice to include all of the enemies, and it sort of gives a nice, a nice feel for them to all be in order, you know, marching forward as, uh, as it were. But uh, also just feels a little bit random, to be honest. Speaking of random, what's with those dudes? Ow. These guys are just like, yeah, I'm really slow. I don't fit with the pacing of the level. I'm just... I'm just gonna chill. Shoot some bullets at you? Maybe. Maybe I'll shoot bullets. I don't know. Does that work with you? I'll just shoot a very small amount of bullets, just in case. Just in case. Also, these guys are sort of in too orderly of a pattern, because they give me a really wide opening here. Ah. Ah. Stupid blue things. It's, that's really not intimidating at all, considering they all fire at the exact same spot. That should be changed up a bit. Because there's no risk from that, unless you get hit by the initial barrage. Or you, you know... If you're, like, trying to maneuver away from other attacks... But, you know, that single beam there was not dangerous. Intermission period one. So we've had a couple already. Ow. Now it's funny, these slow shooting enemies are kind of more dangerous though. Because they, for one thing, they don't leave the screen very quickly. Oh, the cost of the smart bomb goes up by 100 each time you use it, by the way. At least, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Excellent! We completed the game with absolutely no fanfare. I wasn't really expecting one, though, because, you know, the way the game is shaped up so far. But that was a very fun game. Oh, the credits are just a link to the blog. I will link to the, the credits game and a direct link to the Flash game. But this has been Space Arcade, the game. It's a pretty fun, um little game. The enemies are neat. Um, the the enemies I don't like the most with the shields and stuff, they are still pretty inventive. The enemy stuff was really nice. The guns, except for that gun, I liked the guns. The upgrade system was just slightly shallow. And the game wasn't too flashy. I, I did like what was done with the enemies though. And I do like that there's a high score per level. If I were to do a high score attack, um, or if I felt like being a completionist, which on occasion I am, um, it'd be nice to go through here and collect all the gold medals or something. Um, it could do with achievements or something to drive more of a feeling of progress and completion. You know, it wouldn't be too much to add. Or a story, maybe. And I always like to see bosses in this sort of game. It um, it was pretty apparent there wasn't going to be a final boss, though, so I wasn't disappointed on that end. But bosses are fun. 
but this has been Space Arcade, and thanks for watching.